Welcome to Chrome's 13. Today we're going to talk about, um, we're moving on into Romans, and it's Romans 8, 3 that we are going to land on, this verse um, that talks about the law. And so, do you want to read it? Yeah, so um, I'm actually going to read in the, this is the NLT, right? Yep. And the NLT version as well as the King James version, because the two versions are so different, and the King James is much shorter, but um, you can you can get different things from different versions, so we'll read both. So starting in the NLT, it says in verse 3 of Romans 8, the law of Moses was unable to save us because of the weakness of our sinful nature. So God did what the law could not do. He sent his own son in a body like the bodies we sinners have, and in that body, God declared an end to sin's control over us by giving his son as a sacrifice for our sins. Um, there's something here in your Bible, 7-3. Oh, it's a cross-reference. Um, okay, so moving on to the King James Version. The King James Version reads, For what the law could not do, in that it was weak through the flesh, God sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin, condemned sin in the flesh. So it's two very different versions. Mm -hmm. So... Um, let's start with what the Lord was showing you when you read that. So, um, one of the things that the Lord was showing me was that he took me all the way back, um, into numbers when he was speaking to purifying the Israelites and purifying the camp. And this is what Romans eight is all about. And Romans is about us being purified and, and getting purified in the Lord and the process in which that means like it's dying to self and, and being willing to starve your sinful nature and move in um, feeding um, the nature of Christ within you. And the, fruit, the fruitfulness of that becomes the freedom that you get to live in. In that, it is one of the things that really just struck out to me was this is Numbers 5.5. Five. Um, and I love the meaning of five is grace. And Numbers 5.5, five, it says, and then... And then the Lord said to Moses, that's it. And then the Lord said to Moses and, and the Lord was giving Moses instruction, but that was the only part of the verse. That's it. And, and sometimes I think that we get so caught up in what everyone else is saying. Matter of fact, we were just having a conversation about this. Mm -hmm. We're so caught up in what everyone else says that we're not listening to what the Lord said. We're not paying attention to his direction and to the way in which to win in him and, and the way in which to move in him. And um, that we're, we, wanna, we want to fill our fleshful need and having someone tell us the way in which to go or someone to affirm us, which <clears throat> thank the Lord for affirmation. But the Lord is faithful and true and he will tell you what to do. Yeah. You know, it's interesting because when I was reading this, the Lord reminded me of a video that I had watched, um, and it was just a short clip. It makes me laugh because the guy didn't die, but <laughs> it really shouldn't be that funny. Oh my goodness, so, here we go. <laughs> so this guy is up on one of those tight ropes, and it's like an experience, right? Kind of like what you would do, like zip lining. And so they're strapping him in, you know, with the harness and the guy looks kind of unsure to walk across and he's way up high in the air. I mean, like, wait, like you ain't living if you die, if you, if you slip and you fall, you are dead. And, um, so he, he's on this tightrope and he's got this bungee to his back and he runs across it as fast as he can and leaps to the end. And as he's leaping onto the, the safety of the final platform, the <laughs> strap just, boop, comes undone it was never connected had he stumbled had he fallen he thought that he was secure he thought that he was safe but he would have fallen to his death oh my goodness and the lord was showing me how when we try to operate in our own fleshly power to cooperate with his law and his righteousness like it will never save us. It will never mm -hmm. protect us, no matter how carefully or how quickly we run across the tightrope of life. Um, there's nothing holding us there. Like we will die. It means death. But when we are connected to Jesus, it completely changes everything. Mm -hmm. Now we have the true protection. We have the Savior of the world that is connected to us um, and us to him. He's in us. We are in him. And um, we are able 
to defeat the sinful nature because we are no longer a slave to that. We are now, now our master is Jesus, not the law, not sin, not the things of this world, but our master is now Jesus. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? Um, having a false sense of security through oneself um, or is very dangerous. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or having your security wrapped up in a position, place, person, or thing. Dangerous. dangerous. The Father clearly says, because, hold on, because when that thing goes away, and it surely will, because the things of this world are like vapor, you know, this life is a vapor. When that's stripped away, what do you have? God is the one thing that can't be taken from you. Well, the word of the Lord says that that is it. Oh, okay. <laughs> that is it. Like okay. it, it can't. The Father's security, the Father's salvation, the the Father's atonement, and it it can't be taken away from you. You will and are always going to be in this day and in this world and in this age, being purified in Him. You that that's the. That's the fruitfulness of the law that he gave Moses is that there is a guideline and a boundary and there is freedom in that. And evidence of your connection to him. And evidence of, yep, and evidence of, yeah. So don't, don't miss the protection in that in which God laid down with Moses for your health, for your wellness. And don't turn back. So there, there's a cross-reference in my Bible um, in Romans 8, verse 3, where it says, For the law could not do in that it. And the Lord highlighted that word it to me. Mm-hmm. And the cross-reference just to that one word, that two-letter word it, um, I, it took me to Galatians uh, 4, verse 9, which says, But now, after that ye have known God, or rather are known of God, how turn ye again to the weak and beggarly elements wherein you desire again to be in bondage? Mm-hmm. So essentially what that verse is saying is like, once you know God and you're in him and you have the knowledge of him, how could you ever turn back to begging of the things of this world? How could you ever desire to be in that kind of bondage again? Mm-hmm. And oftentimes bondage to the world and bondage to the law and to legalism and to um, the things that you desire and crave, like maybe it's career or money. Oftentimes we don't even realize we're in bondage mm-hmm. to that because we become comfortable in what that weight feels like. But once you're free of it, this verse is saying, how do you ever turn back? Yeah, that tees up this verse. First Corinthians 3, 3. For you are still controlled by your sinful nature. You are jealous of one another and quarrel with each other. Doesn't that prove you are controlled by your sinful nature? Aren't you living like people of the world? Mm. And there it is, the evidence. So take some time today with the Lord and ask him, Father, am I living by the fruit of your spirit is the, are, the fruit of the spirit is that is that pronounced in me do people see you in me mm-hmm. what am i a slave to am i are you my master or are the things of this world my master mm-hmm. and and if you have to justify your actions you yourself are justifying your actions you yourself are uh, atoning your circumstances that is not a safety line. No, it will not sustain. It will not hold. What a visual. This life is a tightrope. Mm-hmm. We don't know. This could be our last day. We mm-hmm. have no idea when the Lord is going to call us home, but we can be secure in the fact that we know that Jesus is firmly mm-hmm. in us, that we are in him and that we are attached to him in such a way that we know exactly where we're going to go. And to the one I'm sensing right now, to the one who's all of a sudden feeling anxious and like, I can't do this and I, this is too much and this is so overwhelming, wash that away right now in Jesus' name. In Jesus name because the Father delights in you. That's beautiful. He delights in you and he is patient, loving, and kind and not a single thing is missed by him. Yeah. 
Amen. Thanks for joining us today. We hope that you um, were blessed by this crumb that we were able to bring this week. Mm -hmm. Dive into Romans 8. We can't wait to meet you at his table. God bless you.